Everyone, this is Admiral Playrovsky bringing your Atlantic fleet Battle of the Atlantic as Germany. And what were we doing? Uh, we pretty much have everything where we want it to be. We just had one submarine pop out of the um, Kiel Wilhelmshaven area. And I will move this submarine into the UK. And I think all in all, everything seems to be fine. We've covered all the major convoy routes, at least for now. We've got two red squares here, so we're beginning to eat into the, um, the tonnage. And, well, let's carry on. Nothing happens. Oh, here we go. Western approaches in sunny weather, week 2.5 of November 1939. The submarines U-41 and U-42 have detected an enemy contact at noon. The destroyer Lively and the submarines have the engine. U-42 already with light damage, but I'm not going to let light damage stop me now, am I? How far away are they? Oh, 4,000. So they're quite close, and they're pretty much heading exactly where I want them to head. Let's move then. Start to get into position. 27 knots. We're a bit quick. Any airstrikes? Nope. At least not for us anyway. They're uh, quite far away from here. From U-42. So... Let's just try and potentially get into position to do something. We'll hold fire again. Yep, they're just moving forwards. Note of curiosity, these are LM-class destroyer. Alright. I was just curious. Anyway. Let's continue on. They haven't spotted us yet. And they still haven't spotted us. It's tempting, it's tempting to just dive, no not dive, to just surface and just kaboom. Removal still. Guys! Are you, are you sure? Well, we've got them now. We have got them now. Right, uh, where do we want the torpedo? We want one probably around around this sort of general area, actually. Maybe, maybe just slightly behind the funnel, perhaps. And also one underneath those front turrets, I think. Place another one here and fire away. Well, they've um, they've been sunk. Lively is sinking. We don't have any damage control because, of course, you wouldn't do it in real life. Very easy. Action report. On the British side, the destroyer Lively was sunk for 1,950 tons. On the German side, the submarine U-41 received no damage, and the submarine U-42 received no additional damage. So, she comes away with light damage, just as she went in. So, warship tons sunk on the British side was 1,950. Merchant tons sunk was nothing at all, and on the German side it was nothing for both categories. 1950 Renown. Right, well, let's press on. Ooh! Ooh, now then! Ooh, this could be lucrative. The Azor Islands. Relatively sunny weather, week 2.5 of November 1939. We have the submarines U-39 with light damage, and the submarine U-40 with no damage. They have detected an enemy contact at noon. The heavy cruisers Berwick and York were escorting a merchant ship, large freighter. The submarines, Germans have the initiative. Right, well this could be very lucrative if we can pull this off, in terms of renown of course. And wouldn't you know it, this is actually quite a really good position to start off in. We've got the York behind here, the large freighter over here. Right, I think we can pretty much say that the Beric is going. Unless they try and turn or something. 
how far away is the... Yeah, they're a bit too far away, I think. At least for now. Yeah, way too far. I mean, we could reach them in theory, but... It's, um... Not really something that I would want to be risking. Alright, 2,918. They're a little bit too close now to do a two-turn shot. So, what I will do is... Oh, I've turned in. What I will do is just move forward. We're not quite there yet, are we? Oh, we are, apparently. Um, no, nope, I'm not prepared to risk it just yet. Because it's very important that you don't mess it up. Oh, they've turned a little bit now. Oh, beautiful. They've exposed their entire starboard side to me. Excellent. Right, what we'll do then is... Seeing as this is a heavy cruiser, we will put... Hmm, it'll be three torpedoes, I think. We'll have one sort of underneath the funnels around here. And then I'll put one between the turrets and here. And I'll put one between the rear turrets as well. Around about here. I know, this is, I know this is a lot, but it's a heavy cruiser. Tough ship. Far away. We've really hurt them. Are they going over? They should do. I don't see them surviving three torpedo hits. Now you can't stay afloat. You've taken three. I don't see how you can survive this. Yep. There, there she goes. There goes the Beric. Took a lot longer than I, I thought, but fireworks from the destroyed B turret. The Beric is sunk. Right, U40. Um, you will actually go after the merchant ship large freighter now because I believe that the York will get fixated now on the other submarine now. Movement, no action, large freighter move all. Actually, now that I look at it, could we potentially think about this maybe? <laughs> do we want to do this or not? I'm not sure. I'll hold it just for now. Just for now. It's moving forward. Movement. Are they turning back or just turning to, um, to port? So it's a three-turn shot. How far away is the York? Still a very long way away. Are they? Are they just turning round? Because if they are, we'll start focusing more on the York. Hmm. Interesting. I wouldn't expect them to do that. Yeah, they're turning round. Just about see the um, stern of the barrack here going under. Barrack sunk. Of course, no damage control because, well, we, we, we can't tell. We don't know as the enemy what the damage is. Let's move you forward then. Now, we do have two that we could fire now. But if the York really is turning back, naturally, maybe quick change of tack. They're just moving this way now. Freight is going this way. I'm a little bit too far away now, I think, to potentially try and do something. 
Mind you, it was my own fault that I waited for so long, but that's fine. We can still pull this off. Hmm. 4699. There is a part of me that wants to, you know, fire away. Are they turning away now? Will they be zigzagging? Hmm. 5900. Did we, did we just miss our chance there to do something? 4,595, right, it's now or never at this point, it is literally now or never. Because they're moving quickly at 30 knots, I will have to do a large spread. I'm going to do four. Four torpedoes will be fired, so this is a two-turn shot. 0.2 hits them immediately, they're saying 46.5. 46.5, so they're saying about here. And um, possibly, they might be right on that one. Or even go north on this one here. Yeah. Right. So the least I'll do is seven. I'll put one over here. Every two degrees or every one degrees? I'll put put it every two degrees. Five point oh three point oh. Mm, will these do it or not? What do we reckon? Three or four for the um, for the York. No, I think we'll we'll do we'll do that we'll do that for the time being. Right, fire away. Three torpedoes gone. They've turned. Large photo moves all. Here we go. These have to hit immediately. If they don't hit now, we're Doomed. Right, that's one hit. Annoyingly, that could be a bad hit. If you can even have a bad hit, because they were turning. They might actually turn away from the remaining torpedoes, which is why I kept one in reserve. But, the good news is, at least for me, that... Yep, that's a three-turn shot now, 5,790. Oh no, surely not. One more little hit. One more hit. Oh, they're heavy at the stern. Are you going to hit the large freighter? No! Surely not. 17.9 knots, so that quite badly hurt. Yeah, it's going to hit. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> really? That's what we're doing? Oh, that's no good. Right, 6,069. Luckily, we've just had another torpedo reloaded. We've got two more. Uh, look at that deck at the, at the back. It is a wash. They have a list as well. 21 knots. Do you know what? Let's do it. Let's fire another two torpedoes in. This time, what we'll do is we'll give them about two and a half, I would say. So, hmm, actually, at naught. Just fire them at naught. Actually, no, this is a three turn shot. So, this is um, this is 2.0. Naught, and this one can be at seven, I believe, because it'll take two turns for it to reach. We'll put one over here then. 7.0 and 155. We'll put one at 4 just to make sure we definitely get that extra hit in. Is that looking better? Yeah, I would say so, yes. Fire away. We could really see it firing there, but never mind. 
movement. Oh, we've over, we've undercooked that one. I think we may have undercooked it. Maybe with with this one we have, but maybe with this one we haven't. Oh, now that's dangerous. That is dangerous right there. Well, they're there. They won't clear this one, I don't think, but they will clear this one. So it could be another torpedo towards the stern of the ship. Here we go, hold tight. Well, they're getting another hit. Annoyingly, it won't sink them, though. I've got a miss over here with that one. Large face are not really in danger of the torpedo, is it? Not really, now. Oh, I don't want to let the freighter escape. I don't want that to happen. That's, that's not allowed. Let's turn this way. I mean, that's so heavy at the back now. One more torpedo hit literally anywhere else on the ship, and I think it will sink them. 18.2, we've slowed them down again. 4.8. Do we chance it or not? I'm not going to hold it for now. Oh, they've turned. Did they want a word with you, perhaps? Oh no, maybe. Maybe not. Final four now. 4,668. We'll wait one more turn. I think, and then hopefully we get another torpedo in as well. Reloaded. Do we get that, or is that not an option? It isn't, but this is... Uh, it's too good of an opportunity to pass at 4,100, so... What I'll do is... I'll actually put this one at 3 degrees away, seeing as they're picking their speed up. I'll go 1.1. 1 .1. Driven 1.0, exactly. One here, and I hope that this is the one that finishes the walk off. If it is, we get them. We get the merchants anyway. But if it's not, we're in trouble. But well, ish, we're in relative trouble. All right, this is looking good. Here we go. This is looking good, in my opinion. Yep. There we go. I got I got a bit worried there when, when there was no fire, but um, no, it would seem that we managed to do it. So the York has been sunk. Uh, how many torpedoes did you take? I believe it was one here, and then we had at least two in the stern. Yeah, I think it was three or four, wasn't it? Uh, but anyway, magazine detonation in the middle of the ship, superstructure destroyed completely. One more thing we have to do now, sink merchant and withdraw. Action report. On the British side, the heavy cruiser Berwick was sunk for 10,500 tonnes. The heavy cruiser York was sunk for 10,350 tonnes and one merchant ship, large freighter, sunk for 8,700 tonnes. On the German side, Submarine U-39 gains no additional damage, meaning she leaves the combat area with the light damage she came in with, and the Submarine U-40 received no damage. So warship tons sunk on the British side was 20,850, merchant ship tons sunk on the British side 8,700, on the German side it's naught for both categories, 20,850 renown has been earned. Into the kitty that will go. Right. Uh, what do we do next? Well, I guess check torpedoes. You've got 14, and you've got 14 as well. So you guys are fine. You guys haven't had any engagements yet, so you should be full. You are. Good. Any, um, right, 11 here and 14 here. So you guys are alright as well. You've got some battle stars as well. Very nice. How are you guys doing? 
14 and 11, that's still good. 20 and 22, that's good. How are you guys doing? You've got 22, 18, 13. Oh, use 65. Four torpedo tubes damaged, destroyed. Oh, we've got to send U65 in for repairs then. Immediately, we can't. What use is a submarine that's got its um, its four torpedo tubes jammed? It's not useful at all. Knowing my luck, what would happen next is I'd get an engagement in the UK. U65 would be in perfect position to to fire. And I would be able to use the, the torpedo launchers. I'd have a look, I'd, I'd be saying what's going on, why can't we fire, and lo and behold, there it would be. Four torpedo tubes destroyed! Not even damaged, Out, outright destroyed. Western approaches, Allied convoy attacked by submarines, 47,980 tons of merchant shipping sunk, week 3.5 of November 1939. That's good news. Ooh, hello. In the Canary Islands, week 3.5 of November 1939, in rainy weather, the submarines U-29 and U-30 have detected an enemy contact in the afternoon. It's the destroyer Imogen, and she is escorting a convoy of merchant ship large freighters and a couple of merchant ship C-2 freighters. The Germans have the initiative. It's just one destroyer, so in theory we should be able to make quick work of this. <laughs> Keywords or word there being in theory doesn't necessarily have to mean it'll come true although I'd like to think it will mean that right, we're miles away the Imogen is just miles and miles away here there is no way we can get at the Imogen immediately with the submarines so for that reason what I, what I like to do in a situation like this is give them a little bit of a hello, I'm here type of message what does that mean? Well, what do I do is I go over here and I launch one torpedo at one of the merchants. They're moving slowly, so we'll just put one. 42.7, do you know what? I'll have to go with, you know, with that suggestion for one. 42.7. There we go. Now, this isn't designed to sink this particular merchant. It's designed to sort of make the destroyer come over to me. Once we do that, I'll keep going as we are for now. Move it all. Alright, so the, the board would have sunk a C2 freighter. That wasn't the point of this. I mean, if you sink the map and fire out, that's just an added bonus. But the main thing we want to do is get the attention of the Imogen. She's too far away to even, you know, be affected by any of the submarine torpedoes. But now, if we have a look what will happen, they're coming over to me. That's good. I want to get close to them. I sort of always say to myself that my submarine is very slow. It's at 6.7 knots. If they will use their engines, they'll get up to 30 knots just to get to me very quickly. Which is very nice of them. It means they, um, they don't waste time with um, getting right to it. Which is helpful because can you imagine how long this would take if we were both going at 6.7 or 6.8 knots an hour? We'd be here for the rest of the war. And even then, we wouldn't be able to open fire at each other. The destroyer might open fire with the guns, but I wouldn't fire with the torpedoes. Not unless I had like an un un unlimited amount. Because of these sorts of ranges, you know, you're, you're looking at war one turn and all your hard work and calculations are off especially at 30 knots right, I do believe it's time to dive on the next turn because they'll open fire yep broadside away there's the British the gunnery scoring hits well, why the hits are very near misses but presumably they've caused damage no they haven't but I'm not gonna ask for that so Dive away, just for now. Just for now. Once they come in within point blank range, open fire, and hopefully the torpedoes will sink the Imogen. 
I'm going to assume that they'll continue to get closer to me because they have me on their sonar right now. In order to do a depth charge run on me, you have to get closer to me. You have to be directly above me. Yep. Here we go. Almost there. We're almost there now. Good. They've come closer, I'm assuming. Time to surface an attack. Oh, yes, I believe it is the time. It is right. No, I pressed dive. Oh, no, I've messed that up. I didn't mean to dive. Oh, my, I've messed that up big time. Oh no, what have I done? They're going to depth charge then potentially now. Well, well that's it then. I, What can I do now? The only thing I can do now is... Oh, I don't even know, can we or can we not? Surface and turn hard to starboard, that way the back could swing out and we could potentially have a go that way. I can't believe I messed that up though. That just doesn't happen with me. We should be firing the torpedoes now and they should be sunk and what we've done is dived away even more. What I'm hoping for now is for them not to use depth charges, although they probably will do, aren't they? Here we go. Yeah, depth charges. If I lose a submarine because of this, We haven't lost it this time. If I go harder starboard again and surface again, can we potentially use the rear launchers to get the torpedoes out? That way we could potentially save, salvage some of this. Right, so they're a little bit too close to us. It's one torpedo that we've got available. Is it just one? Why is it just one? We've got 13, we should be fine with that. Well, anyway, keep it here as it is. Um, you 30, you've got, yeah, you've got loads of targets to shoot at. Let's go for this freighter here. They've hit us, perhaps? I don't know. How are we doing? 1325. Right, I have to slow it down this time. we've got 1331 so that should be fine in theory in theory of course doesn't mean it'll have to play out that way I do believe this could actually be a good elevation to fire at just a little tweak here get that fired away is that going to be enough to sink the imager though? I'm not sure it will I don't think it will. You need at least two for a destroyer. That's my sort of reasoning. You need at least two torpedoes to sink a destroyer. And it's not happening. Yep, they're, they're still here. Right, flank, starboard 30, and this time we'll dive. I actually mean to dive away this time. Turn the submarine around and have a go with the full torpedo launchers. Right. They'll presumably come in for another round. That's what I'm, what I'm at least hoping for. Plenty of freighters to have a go at if this goes wrong. Yeah, you can see that coming around again. So now it's a race against time to see if I can get this submarine turned. Excuse me, before the Imogen comes around for another go with the depth charges, which she inevitably will do. Will, will we be able to do it? Place your bets now. Right, so torpedo reloaded. We've got a fairly wide range that we can fire at. So can't quite make it now. 
we'd have to turn oh quite a lot more actually. So it's not looking good for us right now in that respect. It's not, it's not so good. There's no freighters that come around this sub, so that's fine. Oh, I think we may not have the time necessary to, to do it. Turning, still nothing. No, but how far away are we? All right, possibly on the next turn we could just about be in range to do it. Possibly. Although I, I wouldn't bank on it particularly. Right, how? how oh, 1762. Right, well, it's now or never then, isn't it? Pretty much. Surface this time, not dive. Part of starboard and hope that you can just about do it this time. Ooh, what do we reckon? Can we do it? Yes, we can. Oh, that's good for us. Good for us. Right. Um, it's the same standard that standard set out setup that I use for all destroyers. One here, one sort of in between the funnels, I guess. Maybe. There we go. Right, fire away. This should work, I think. It's a little bit more needed to sink the image and to overwhelm the, um, well, the damage control, I guess. Right. A little bit more difficult than it should have been, but here we go. Action report. On the British side, the destroyer Imogen was sunk for 1,370 tons, and we sank a whole host of merchant ship, large freighters, and a couple of merchant ship C2 freighters. On the German side, the submarine U29 already had the light damage she came with, so received no additional damage, I believe. And the submarine U30 received no damage. So, warship tons sunk on the British side was 1,370. Merchant ship tons sunk on the British side, 50,900. On the German side, it's zero across both categories. 1,370 Renault has returned. Right. Um, end it here or no? Uh, go on. Let's 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 do one more. One more. One more. We've got three squares now on the tonnage wall. Let's press on. We're in December 1939. Oh, they've gained a square back. United Kingdom, submarine attacked by enemy aircraft, U-44, submarine U-44, will received medium damage. Let's just check U-44, make sure that everything is still fine. Oh no! Pressure hull is destroyed, so to speak. Oh, well, that's a shame. Uh, we can send U-65 back. U-44 can come back into Kiel and Wilhelmshaven for repairs. There we go. Right, let's carry on. Right, um, Erminger C. In sunny weather, week 1.5 of December 1939, the submarines U-27 and U-28, which has got light damage, have picked up an enemy contact. At noon, it's the destroyer Juno and the destroyer Ofa. Ofa. They're escorting a merchant ship C2 freighter. The German submarines have got the initiative. And that is a terrible positioning of U-27. Moving away. Juno is 7,000 yards away. Oh, no, no, no. Mind you, we had very good place before the last two battles, so I suppose maybe we should get a bad one now. We'll have to go for the freighter over here then. 5,952. I'm not going to fire at that range just yet. Yeah, U U27 can pretty much sit this one out. I would say. Oh, we've just, we've just got 2,000 yards further away on the other submarine. Obviously. Right, let's turn you again. Right. 
now it was pointing in vaguely the right direction. Juno moves all. Continue to steam in because you never know, maybe you will be needed after all. Turn to starboard and yeah, floor it now and get get as close as you can to the freighter. Go, 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 go. Very quickly now. I guess I could in theory launch torpedoes a little bit further away because I can sort of see how they're going. 5,500. Um, <laughs> 5,500. Do I go for it now or do I wait? Well, there's going to be a two-turn, a three-turn shot anyway. We won't reach it on the next turn. So, yeah, we'll have it fire now, and then it'll go one, and then it'll go again. So, two or three-turn shot, depending on how you look at this. Right, um, but they're going at, what, nine and a half knots? So very slow. Right, anyway, um, they're going on, I'm going to say it's 10 pretty much. So 5.0 is here, let's say about 3 degrees out. Should be about there. And we'll put one over here. That's 55. 54. Yeah, 54 would be better. Just to make sure that the seat of freighter is definitely sunk. Alright, so these should hopefully meet, meet with the ship and sink it as a result. So they won't hit this turn. No! You weren't supposed to hit! Well, that's, that's throwing a spanner in the works, isn't it? Um, so they're going to be all over the place now. The destroyers would have been alerted to the danger. Oh, uh, that's that's not what I intended to happen. Cease firing now. Are they turning away? Are they leaving the freighter to fend for itself? Oh, I was hoping that maybe it will explode underneath the ship. But no, it, it, it seems that that's not going to happen. Juno is 6,500 yards away. Oh! Not good what's happened here. My only hope now is that they'll turn back and they'll actually try and attack the, um, the submarine that launched that torpedo. Because if not, we may have to come away and let the freighter go. And that's not something I want to do. You do not let the enemies merchant shipping go just like that. You need to, you know, really give it your best shot. <laughs> Whether that be through the deck or all the torpedo tubes. Right. I don't think... Yeah, I think it'll all be on the U-28. I guess I could have another pop of the freighter, but we need four torpedoes for these destroyers just in case they decide to come in and attack us at the same time, which I've got a sneaky suspicion that's what they're trying to do, to overwhelm the sub. Yeah, they're moving in quickly here. C2 Freighter does have a little bit of a list going on to starboard, but we're able to make it away. Well, choose who you want to fire at effectively, one or the other. Let's keep moving in. So they're going to start opening fire soon. Do it immediately, but there we are. Possible damage to um, propulsion steering and rear torpedo launchers. Open fire? Not yet. Not yet. No damage for this one, but for this one we could have been damaged somewhat. Pressure hulls would like damage, right? So in that case, then what we'll do is we will turn towards the Juno and we will dive. Torpedo reloaded, so now we should have four, I believe. Do we have four if I wanted to fire for whatever reason? Yes. Good. Good, 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 good. So they'll get really close to me. You pretty much know the drill, I guess. They get too close to me, and I come up and pounce. Right. Keep on moving. 3,100. They're very close now. I would imagine it's time to fire on this turn. 
mind you, the offer will fire at me, or offer, I don't, I don't know how you pronounce that. Mind you, they'll probably open fire on me, because they're not that far away, 4,800. Let's turn a little bit, or maybe not a little bit. Now surface this time, surface. Yes, good. <laughs> We're not diving away like last time when I went to surface. 1937 meters or yards. Good, that should be perfect. Perfect range to fire at. We'll put one between the forward turrets and one beneath the funnel. Right, fire away. Should sink. Yep. Juno has been sunk. Secondary explosion finishes off the ship. Oh, for firing. Shells are long, I believe. So, what I will do now is move this submarine forward. Keep her in the fight. As for this submarine, U 28, you can dive. Temporarily dive, just a shallow depth, so that they can't use their guns. Good, we can fire at the Ofa immediately as well. So all we need to do now is just wait for them to get a little bit closer, and then we can pop up and... You know... Fight open it. Oh, is it time to do it already? Oh no. Well, they're quick, I mean, they're going at 30 knots, I suppose that's... Surface, yes, go up, not down, so that we can fire two more torpedoes into the over. Oh, hang on. Can we do it at 2652? They're saying we can. Do I trust them? Go on. I'll trust you for now. If this goes horribly wrong, it's it's the fault of the um, of these things. Fire away. I wouldn't usually fire that far away. That works for me. Good. We've destroyed the um, the A turret in the process as well. Superstructure destroyed as well. Right. Sink the one merchant and withdraw. Action report on the British side. The destroyer Juno was sunk for 1,690 tons. The destroyer Ofa was sunk for 1,610 tons. The merchant ship C2 Freighter was sunk for 5,500 tons. On the German side, the submarine U27 received no damage, and the submarine U28 received no additional damage, meaning she, she leaves with the light damage she initially came with. Warship tons sunk on the British side, 3,300. Merchant ship tons sunk on the British side, 5,500, and nothing sunk at all for either category on the German side. 3,300 now goes into the piggy bank. And wouldn't you know it, just when I want to end off, in the North Atlantic, we get a, an enemy contact. It is rainy weather it, and it's week 1.5 of December 1939. The battleship Scharnhorst, the light cruiser Leipzig, and the destroyer Z2 have detected an enemy contact in the morning. It is a convoy of merchant ship large freighters and a couple of merchant ship C2 freighters escorted by the light cruiser Sheffield and the destroyer Velux. The British get the initiative. They don't have a chance here, but very well. If you want to have a have a pop at it, go ahead. Mind you, light cruiser could set a fire on the um, it's the Shan horse, I believe, isn't it? Yep. Right, um, so where are they? Velux is making smoke, Sheffield is down here. Let's go hard to port. Hard to port. Turrets are all turned, and they're aiming at the Sheffield. 11.7 is suggested, and for that reason I will go 11.7. No idea what else to do. Right, well. No corrections are necessary. I was about to say open fire, but not quite. Uh, where are we facing? There we 
go. Right, this is times two. Let's go times eight. Uh, pretty much no correction needed. I guess maybe a small one about here, maybe. Let's try it down here. Right. Open fire. Fire! Long, and also that correction wasn't entirely necessary. Uh, Leipzig, I actually want you to fire at the destroyer. Unfortunately, the destroyer develops has made smoke immediately, so I can't see what elevation to use. However, if I go to this large freighter over here, it's telling me to go at 17.6. So using that because they're roughly on the same sort of, you know, course, so to speak. I'm also going to say, do you know what? Go 17.6. You never know. The shells may land in the general vicinity of the target. Right. A very small one this time. Hardly any movement because the wind is just, well, pretty much non-existent. At least it's just blowing the shells forward. No need to do massive corrections to account for that. Fire! Alright, we'll need a couple more degrees up on that, I reckon. Uh, Z2, you can not do anything really. You can sit this one out. You'll be much more useful when we'll be taking on a battleship. Because of those like, previous you have. Velux, no action, so they'll make smoke again. Which they are. Right. Let's move the shunt along. Uh, how was 11.7? .7? It was long, they're saying. They're saying it was really long. Do I agree? It wasn't super long. Low tens, I think, would be better this time. About ten or three, maybe. Fire! Good, we've hit them. Leipzig, you can also move along. Now, you'll need a little bit more welly on your elevation. 17.5 was a little bit short. Well, they're not massively short. One more degree, I think. Fire! Could be enough here. Yep. And the Velix has been set on fire by the high explosive shells from the 5.9 inch guns of the Nuremberg. Uh, no, the Leap 6, sorry. I don't know where Nuremberg came from. Oh, hang on. Sheffield pumps damaged, perhaps? Well, they must be. So, two hits scored by the Sheffield. Uh, Velux looking well, quite poorly, I guess. Sheffield looking very poorly. Though. That's a big list to starboard. I'm 96% sure that the pumps are damaged. Why 96? Well, that's because the suggested elevation was 9.6 up there. Sorry, make that 100% sure. <laughs> elevation estimate changed to 10, so I'll go 100% sure that the pumps are a little bit, you know, towards the damage side. I'll go maybe 10 point, oh, 10.0 actually, maybe. They've not been fooled a lot. No correction is necessary for the wind, as it turns out. Or if it is, it's my need. Let me go for the turret a little bit. Fire! Right, I was actually a little bit short more than anything, but we still caused an explosion, so in that respect it was it was not not too bad. Right here we'll go down a little bit to about 18. Fire. I didn't do the correct for the win, but it's not really necessary. Still two hits, the shells were a little bit long. Let's move the Z2 along. Still firing with her forward turrets. Any hits? Yes. Three hits this time. 
Luckily, our armor will protect us from that. The Valak has opened up. It's a star shell heading towards the Leipzig. So the Leipzig will be all lit up. Convoy moves. My cruiser Sheffield at naught in terms of speed. Uh, oh, they're saying 10.5 now. Now, this will get a little bit ridiculous. I think that's not really what you meant to say. I'll go 9.8. Fire! Hit, but they were a little bit pushed by the wind. So, um, for that reason, we'll have to go down a little bit. So they're saying 16.7 to, to hit the um, Velux. Uh, I'll go low 17s. Fire! Long. Those didn't work. They did not work. Starshell on Sharnhorse this time. Oh, the Sharnhorse will be all lit up. So two Starshells now. Uh, one for each ship. I wonder if they are aware that the destroyer is here. Or, because we've not fired the destroyer, they don't know that the destroyer is actually there. They've got to be aware of it, surely. I, I would say that, that you know that they are aware. Right, um, 9.8 was good. It was all right. Maybe even 9.7 this time, though. And this time, what we'll do is we will actually do a slight adjustment because the wind is blowing a bit. Right, fire. Wind pushed us a little bit more again, even though we did the um, the correction for it. So that's not so good. If I go, oh wow, what is number four? Seventeen two. So we were a little bit long this time. They're saying it was very long. Um, fine, I'll go low fifteens then. Uh, let's see what sort of correction should we do? I think if we went about here, sort of halfway between those two, that should be fine. Fire! Another hit. We haven't sunk them, the shells were a little bit short. But, hopefully we can pull it off this time. Sheffield is along with her shells. Velux is making smoke, this time to get out of the fight. I'm not really that surprised to learn of that development. Right, 9.7 was just very good. I'll keep it at 9.7. I can't see anything, we'll see something eventually. There's our destroyer. Come on, there we go. Right, um, go about about here to correct. 9.7 was good, so for that reason, it might have increased it slightly because we were 99 maybe. We we're a little bit short. Fire! Oops. Good! Those were good hits. Sinking yet. Right, 53 was good. Have they come forward or not forward? Let's check. 53 was there, 72 was there. Uh, I need to pause recording, I will be back soon. Alright, I should be back. Hopefully you can hear me, um, hopefully there was no issues. Uh, apologies if you heard some background noise um, just before I paused the recording. It was the door to my room opening, so hoping that that didn't catch on the video, but if it did, then my apologies for that. 
Right, anyway, 53 was mm, pretty good. Drop it to 15, I think. Right there. Uh, corrections. Talk to me about corrections. No problem. We'll give you a correction, I'd say about here. Right, fire. Yes. Oh, great stuff. Very good. Superstructure has been destroyed. Huge explosion. Z2, you carry on, just as you were. Shepard still firing with the forward two turrets. Next squad three hits. My concern is the Sheffield actually setting a fire. Because that is that is a real danger. You may not think it, but it is. Any damage, as a matter of fact. No, no damage. So that's good. That doesn't mean it'll stay that way. That could very quickly change. Right, let's get another salvo away. Uh, correct about about here, I would say. 1.9 was there, so let's go and fire. Oh yes. Oh. Quickly hop over to the Sheffield, both with one turret. No, it was just one turret that was destroyed. Sheffield now sinking from the um, shells of the shambles. Right, um, Leipzig, you will focus your attention still on the, oh, hang on, on the, um, is it the Felix destroyer? Yes. Right, um, you scored a very good salvo last time, so if we could replicate that one more time, we could potentially see the Felix sink. Elevation. I would say 15-1, maybe 15-2. I'll go 15-2. Fire! Yes. The Velix is sinking as well. Right, well we've sank the escort I believe. So yeah, sink merchants and withdraw. Action report. On the British side, the light cruiser Sheffield was sunk for 12,000 tons. The destroyer Velix was sunk for 1,300 tons. Um, and a whole host of merchant ship large freighters and a couple of merchant ship suits of freighters sunk as well. On the German side, the battleship Scharnhorst received light damage, the light cruiser Leipzig received no damage, and the destroyer Z2 received no damage. So warship tons sunk on the British side, 13,300. Merchant ship tons sunk on the British side, 36,200. 13,300 renown goes into the Good. Right, just before we go, in the Azor Isles, Allied convoy attacked by submarines in week 1.5 of December 1939. 56,560 tons of merchant shipping sunk. Good job, boys. Good job. Right, we've reclaimed our third, third red skull on the tonnage war, and that will be a good place to finish off this episode. So. Um, yeah, that'll be all for this episode from Admiral Playerovsky. If you enjoy the content, leave a like and subscribe. If you have any suggestions for in terms of feedback, um, I know I've been getting a couple of those lately, so thank you for that. As a result, I've been tweaking the sound a little bit. I've been, you know, I received a suggestion about um, the actual content itself, so I've tried to sort of incorporate that this time around. I hope that um, that it was noticeable. Um, let me know if any other changes are necessary in terms of, for example, audio or microphone quality. Um, obviously custom metal suggestions are left alone for the time being because I've got this series to do now. Yeah, If you enjoy the content, leave a like and subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next episode of this series. Bye bye for now.